So I'll call the um, January 10th meeting to order of the Senior Citizens Advisory Board. Um, I need to read the first part that items may be taken out of order presented at the discretion of the chairperson. That would be me, and so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Two or more agenda items for consideration may be combined, and any item on the agenda may be removed or deleted our deleted discussion may be delayed, re, yeah, related discussion may be delayed at any time. Okay, and the, um, the meeting has been posted, so we are in compliance with the open meeting law. And we would move then into the public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. If you wish to be heard, give your name for the record, the amount of discussion, as well as the amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. Do we have anybody that wants to um, comment at the public comment section? And I shall move forward. Then to the final minutes of the uh, regular meeting of November 1 and we need to um, see if everyone has had a chance to review those, and if so, is there an action to approve those? So does anybody need a few minutes for those? They were quite lengthy. Yeah, they are. Thank you. I want to make sure. Yeah. We need a motion. Thank you. Um, is there any discussion on those? I, I, well, I'll ask you after. Well, we can discuss it because um, we made a motion, so okay. we can discuss. It just says that the, all throughout here that the Henderson Senior Citizens people are going to be here today. Do you know why they're not here? They canceled. They canceled. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, they, they did, and they're going to try to make our March 7th meeting okay, instead. Thank you. So that's, yeah. So, and, and that's why we didn't have them on the agenda because we knew about that ahead of time. Okay, anything else? Uh, Mel made the motion to accept the minutes as so posted. Is, and is there any more discussion? No, okay. Then I would call for um, the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none. All right. Then I would definitely like to move ahead and introduce Sandra, and I'm not, I'll mess up your last name. That's okay. Sandra That's from Catholic Charities um, and the senior programs that they have. And she's here today to tell us about some of their programs and. Um, Give us some insight. Terrific. I have a flyer I'll start passing out around. Now I'll give you one and then you can pass some stuff for me. Because I work only with senior programs, I know about all of our other programs, but I know more about the senior programs. And I'm the respite supervisor, which I understand you have 
I have some interest in an investment program that's offered through Catholic Charities. Thank you. Yes. Our respite program is pretty unique where we charge, well, we suggest a suggested donation of $3.50 an hour. Because of that, I do have a waiting list. But if you call, I can get you on an appointment, set an assessment, and then get you on that waiting list. If you can't afford the $3.50 an hour, that's, so that's picked up by Catholic Charities as well. So it's, it's almost a totally 100% subsidized program. <clears throat> on the flyer I've given you, we have the Senior Core Program, and under that Senior Core Program, two of our most popular programs are the Foster Grandparents and the Senior Companion. On the Foster Grandparents, the, the seniors, 60 and older, go into the schools and work with the students. So they do that already. <laughs> and we get paid mileage. On the Senior Companion Program, there is a federal siphon that's paid to you at two seventy two an hour, and it's non-reportable, doesn't affect your Social Security or your pensions at all. So those are two programs that are really, really popular under the, the uh, Catholic Charities Senior Program umbrella. <clears throat> we also have the Meals on Wheels, and as I was telling somebody, if you're at all interested, there's a 700 people count ahead of you, so get on it as soon as possible because it's going to be a while, but probably six to eight months. So if you're thinking somewhere in the future, consider that. Telephone reassurance program is where we call seniors every day and just do a, a telephone well check. That's including Saturdays and Sundays generated by our computers at main campus. Um, what are we talking about the senior companion program? We also have an RSVP program where we call seniors and double check on them as well. So our senior partners are pretty expensive, but they're all affordable. And, and for, if you know many seniors that are looking to volunteer and get paid to volunteer, the senior companion programs are really important for them. Questions? Is your Meals on Wheels program also for other individuals that need it? Or just seniors? I believe it's just seniors, and again, it's not my program, so I don't know. Yeah, because like someone seniors. coming home from the hospital. Right. And and you're delivered to once a week, mm -hmm. flash frozen, and then they go to freezer. And as Mel and I were saying, I've eaten them. They're really, really tasty. And how do you get your funding? It's all grant funding. It's all grant funding. Private party and grant funding. So we're, we're just doing outreach to private parties at this point. But 98% of it is grant funding. On your respite, is it uh, only for like daytime or do you do overnight? It's daytime only. Daytime only. And it's, yeah, it's for seniors as well. Um, it's a minimum of three hours per week. You go up to 12 hours a week if we have the hours to burn. Three to 12 hours a week? A minimum of three. If, we, if I have, and I have staff, but if I have hours in my grant to burn or to spend, I can go up to 12 hours a week. Per, per consumer per client. And is this your direct line, the 382 of 17? It is. And I've got my cards here. I guess I, I should have gotten more, but let me give you a little card. Just get one. Yeah, and we'll just write it in the minutes. And okay. So go ahead and give it to everybody. Okay. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. I think I gave you one. Did I give you one earlier? You know what? I'll get it out of the minutes. Okay. All right. And then that way okay. you have a spare. I, I've got extra. So. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Yes. One, it's not really a question. I would just like to extend our sympathies for the loss of the Monsignor. Thank you. I have worked with him on several different projects, and I know we were all devastated by it, but... I just, my heart goes out to you and, and all of those of you that work with him. Well, we are definitely in a healing process. Uh, we're still somewhat dysfunctional trying to figure out who's going to take over his role, which is impossible. But kind of like Oscar Goodman. Nobody can <laughs> fill in behind him. Right. Um, he was an amazing man. He was. As well as a, a top mom senior. So he's irreplaceable, but we're, we're struggling with it. Well, we just wanted to extend our condolences to those of you. Any other questions? <coughs>
Let me just say. What's your favorite program? Well, I'm a respite supervisor. Oh, then there it is. All right. <laughs> so I have to say respite. But yeah. Hills and Wills is really close, only because we do such good work, and, and it's so needed. But all of our programs are needed. So. Well, you know, that's what the, the, not just the Meals on the Wheels, but one of my, I guess, heartfelt thoughts is, like, how do we get, continue to get food to the people that need it? Absolutely. And it just there's more and more and more and more. Right. And we feed, as well as the Meals on Wheels, we feed 3,000 people a day in our, our main campus. Okay. Main campus. And, and I have flyers in my car, so, and I'm... Probably going to be a month someday, but I, I roll down my window and say, here's a free meal, come you see us at Catholic Charities, when I see people saying, we're hungry, and, yeah. and, and a lot of them go, yeah, and right, and just kind of blow me over. But, so yeah, because like, they want money, and yeah, in the yeah, corner, and yeah. just gave them paper. And it's easier just to stand there and say, give me money. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But we, we do a lot of good work, and, and I'm proud to be a, a part of the team of Catholic Charities. My background is, I'm a graduate of UCLA. And background was in the Department of Rehab for California, and then I, I came here to retire supposedly. And a supervisor got a hold of my resume and asked me if I would take over the investment program, which was in dire need of reorganizing. And that's where I'm at, and that's why I'm so thankful to be here because I didn't know you guys existed. So I called Marie and Thunder while she was on vacation a couple of times, and she nicely invited me. So I, I apologize, I needed to bring something from my office. I don't know how much you've explained from each of the uh, programs, but on, on the Meals on Wheels, maybe you've said something regarding this, but um, what's the number you're, you're serving now, and what's your capacity? In other words, um, are you at capacity? We're at capacity with a waiting list of 700. 700. And what, what is it that you need in terms of money to... Build. Oh, how much money feeds for how long? And you know, I don't know the budget. It's not my problem, but that's a really good budget. If you're interested, I'm going to take those Yes, yes. Okay. I would love to know because it, let's say that we put together uh, an appeal and we're, we're working on feeding, you know, feeding right. kids, feeding the elderly. What would it take to, to open up for one senior? more to okay. be fed. Let's find and, out. and you know, does that mean that you're at capacity with your trucks and your the people that go there? Currently we and are then, but what would it take to get us to that? Right. And how, how right. much like how much would it take and how many that feeds, you know? Absolutely. So That's what I would love to and know I would bring that. that. Next month if you really want to I didn't mean to give you the run, oh, the hard give me question the now. Yeah. But yeah. then the other is um, on all these programs, for example, for your respite mm -hmm. and then your RSVP, I think so. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. respite is, I think, is really valuable, and I'm sure you, you commented on that as well, because when you, uh, you're a caretaker, and my husband and I were caretakers for two years of my in-laws, and, uh, and they were living at home with us. And I saw how much it, my husband it's pretty much had to give up his job or Absolutely. his business in order to handle that. And he was so stressed out and no, nothing we did <laughs> could improve it. Absolutely. But I just didn't know, again, on that program, and that, that may be yours, I don't know. It if, is. If, what is it that you're looking to do to expand the volunteers or or to be able to handle, is it all grants or? It's right now, it's currently all grants, but I'm working with some strategic partners and doing some private funding. Our grant, we also have a Henderson grant that uh, I was at the, the CBIG meeting yesterday, and our grant was $5,000 for Henderson. So I have one worker in Henderson who's got a caseload of four workers. She's up to 20 hours a week, so whatever that is. Plus I have four people in Henderson on a waiting list. So if they can expand the Henderson grant, then I will hire that extra person, and that's exactly the same in the city of Las Vegas. If I can increase my city grant, and I don't know, I know I've got a Walmart grant, a city grant, and um, I think it's Humana is the third grant that's about ready. So if I can get either private funding or additional grants, then I can hire more people. My Las Vegas waiting list is 12 right now, waiting for a respite. But, and that changes constantly. It just is a revolving wall. I go to bed at night thinking of who 
I can switch and do a dominoes game. So that's why I say between three and twelve. That's what I was going to say. And, and if, may, may I ask? Another of course, question? Maria. I'm sorry. Yeah, please um, go ahead. I have. What are some of the needs? I mean, and the rest of it. Who may call you right oh, now? Oh, it, it's um, a gamut. Who's calling you right yeah. now? I have Alzheimer's. I have cancer. I have exhausted caregivers that are saying we didn't even know you existed. And that's, that's again, getting that word out there that this program exists. And if you can afford 25, I don't know what you're paying for respite. Are you currently using respite? It's Medicaid. And Medicaid is covering completely? Mm -hmm. Through a voucher, through helping hands? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you use Medicaid, usually through a voucher system, do you know who, how it's set up? It's the CHIPS program. The CHIPS, okay. It, it's expensive, and most people don't know Medicaid runs out at something. How long have you been using it? Uh, three years. Okay. What's your time frame? Do they have they given you a dollar? No. And, it, and it's exhausting because it runs out. I know that there's some agencies currently using agent and disability vouchers. Helping Hands is one of them. So if you get to that point, ask if you can use the vouchers to use it for that. And also, it's also a problem. Yeah. And that, it, it's all grant funded through that, but the voucher system. We currently can't use the voucher system because we all pull out of that pool. So it's just one of our drawbacks. Thank you, and I look forward to being part of the group. Okay. Do you want her to bring the information back for you next month, or would you like for her just to get that info that you asked oh, for? Oh, we could put you on the, on the okay. agenda again. Okay. Can you yeah. talk just a little I'm bit sorry. about, no. um, about that? Well, I'm just thinking it's no, no, because No, yeah. yeah, because it will be March 7th before we meet again, and yeah. you might like that information before so, then. Well, you're also going to have the Henderson group right on the same On that so, same day, so yeah. So you want to just wait until April to do the Meals on Wheels, or I don't know what happens. No. Yeah, we, we're okay yeah. if you want to wait until March. I mean, I, I was just questioning, you know, as I look and work with the faith community, you know, that other program that I have, I'm working with the faith community, and there's six mm -hmm. different areas that uh, the, the uh, leaders that were part of two of uh, two events that were hosted uh, by the mayor, the leaders that went to this from the faith community identified as addiction, strengthening the family, jobs, finding jobs, uh, education, homelessness, and human trafficking as some key issues. And so we've been meeting as, in, as work groups now for a few months discussing um, for example, the education is working on the education and one of their major um, things is to get into schools and so strengthening mm -hmm. the family is another component. And I see, for example, not only feeding the families but um, providing this kind of support. I mean, that could be a strengthening the family Absolutely. Uh, program. And so as we rile up and organize the faith community, you know, what is it that they want to do? In other words, uh, some want to focus on children, but there might be someone out there that wants to focus on seniors. And so, you know, how do we get them to focus and do fundraising or do something for specific groups or to get programs going, like the backpack program that Three Square mm -hmm. has, which actually came from a faith group. Really? And that partner with Three Square, and then the faith group is no longer with Three Square, but that's how it came from that group. And they, they came up with the idea, and then they used to go out and, and develop the partners Ooh. to actually the buy, strategic partners to buy the food for the backpacks. And so and I think there's different ways that it. we could look at it. And I'm just always looking for, you know, what are issues that we could hear at, as a board could support that would give us more excitement, you know, more meaning to um, being part of the, the group. You know. One of the underserved populations that, that I'm more and more every day is the, the senior veteran. It's something that we haven't, we've almost ignored the senior veterans. There's so many senior veterans on the street today as homeless, and that's an underserved population that we're looking to as well. And then assistive technology. That, that's something we put on the back burner, but in 2013 we hope to have a lending library for assistive technology 
And that's including from software to hearing aids to power chairs. So it's a wide gamut. Well, see, something like that, if I, if I may add, something like uh, the chairs and some of the technology, you could actually partner with all of the, the different businesses out there and, and, then, and then put a team together. And, you know, these are things that we could look I'd to love the future and see some things uh, where we start connecting the whole community and, and we focus on a vision, you know, how do we deal with the education issue, how do we find more jobs and et cetera. And so that, anyway, so I am. Or more of, food. Or more or food. Or more food or, yes ma'am. When you say education issue, would you explain what you're talking about? Jim? Well, education is br very broad. But for the pastors and the other faith leaders uh, having to do with the faith initiative, what they brought up as one of the items, and we're focusing on that, is how to partner with the schools if you're a faith uh, entity. Right now, principals are reluctant to deal directly with the, uh, the faith community or feel that when you go as a faith because community, of the between because between. they they think that something else is going to happen right. <laughs> instead right. of either right. tutoring or reading or something that could happen. So, so even though education is a huge uh, topic, we are only focusing on a small part of it, which is uh, where's the school. Where is it a Title I, and do we have support from the, the uh, Clark County School District with the partnership office? Can we then tie the partnership office and connect to, I can give you some details later on on that. Can we um, get a representative to speak to the principals and connect the faith groups that are in that neighborhood and then set up a meeting, and that's what we've done. And we ask the principals, uh, what do you need? We don't say, we're here, we want to do this, we want to do this. You know, the faith community doesn't say that. They say, what do you need? And here, here can, do you need coats? Do you need food? Do you need us to come in and provide and help with the reading? Some basic things. This is not major, major, but it's major for the families. And so what we've done is in a very short time because of this, the two churches that are involved as the pilot program, in, in the, uh, it's in Ward 4 actually, Mickey. I should bring you over to look at the schools. And um, what we've done so far is that uh, these groups found volunteers to help with Cimarron High during the Thanksgiving dinner, and so Cimarron High had uh, about 400 volunteers to put that meal together, to cook, etc. Then uh, they also <coughs> helped in, uh, in doing a coat drive for multiple schools like elementary and the junior high. They provided food for the food pantries during the two weeks that School is closed, but the kids need food, and they're not getting any of the backpacks or the breakfast that Title I churches usually, I mean, schools get. And so they fit all the, filled, filled all the gaps during the two weeks. And, and then we met with the principals, and in the elementary school, again, each principal is going to be different, but the Eisenberg Elementary School uh, principal is having issues with parents not picking up the children after school. So they stay there and at some point before they can close the school, the kids have to be transported somewhere else, like a boys and girls club. club. So then the parents have to drive to wherever that club is and pay a fee to pick the child or children up. And it's getting more and more expensive. He's, so the principal is asking church members from the area, can you pick up the child and take him to your place for after school? Well, that, that's like hitting a, it's just absolutely wonderful because that's the school. They're doing after school, school, helping with homework, helping with reading. So the child can stay there until the parents come and pick them up at 6 or whenever they get off work. So it was something the principal asked, and they're going to present it to the parents uh, on, the 20, on the 25th this January. 
And so we're really excited about just really? getting it going in a very short time. We just got this like in November. We started October in two months. It's been developed, the relationship. It's just one area. It's a tiny, tiny um, group right now. But if that could be replicated to whatever is needed at the different neighborhoods and schools. Good job. Yeah. Go ahead. Would it be appropriate for you to put that in a PDF and then it could be emailed? And to Maria, and then oh, she, yeah, yeah. and then, it, no, 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 I was talking about your program that we started on, and then that could be sent to us, and, and we could have it to look at, and if you come back at the next meeting, that would be great. You would like a, a program of the meals? Well, well j just, you were talking before about getting information to us on, Mar in March, right? Yes. And would that be easier to put that in a PDF and, and email it? On general information? Yeah, and, and, and that if, if in, in that way it might save you a trip of coming. Well, I'd and like we to could, be here anyway. So we could be here on a regular basis. Yeah. We Maria, could get it and look at it and yeah. study it. I, I certainly can develop a PDF and we'll get all the powers that be to help to the input, but I plan to be here, Mickey, so. Okay, well, that's understand. up to you then. It's okay. up to you. Whatever works best okay. for you. I was. Yeah, isn't that on your website? Yes, a lot of the information yeah, is from oh, okay, the yeah. attorneys. Yes. Okay, yeah. well, and that would be fine. And I'm sure that's what this is, a yeah, replica right. of, right. but yeah. I think we were asking yeah. her for additional budget. budget. Yeah, yeah. 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 that was good. Yeah. Is your budget, is your any of your budget on there? I didn't see it. So oh, sir, there are some financials. It's okay. not total totally disclosure, but there are financials. Yeah, but I, I don't need the budget. I'm just needing that, just yeah. those pieces, yeah. like, what would cost to get to the next and then. Yeah. You know, as senior related, and I'm yeah. just thinking at some point there might be something we like. But, Madam Drury, did you did you get to speak or say any? Did you want to say anything to my comments? Oh, I was very much interested in the after school program, if that's what I heard properly. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really wanted some more information on that. And where where is your greatest need? Do you need parents involved in that? Do you need volunteers involved in that. What is your need there? Well, we're just exploring it now, and it's, it's, it's a program that's going to be presented to the faith community in, in March, on March 13th, and then we, we're going to see... Do you want to set up an agenda since it's not agenda? Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I can, we can talk later. And I'd like to talk to you about... Did you want to bring up? Well, I mean, I, I didn't mean for it to become an item, but I mean, uh, uh, Member Fran and I can talk on a, but we the, can talk on the phone and I can give you information about And the that. foster grandparents for Catholic Charities, you can do an MOU with them and we can use them for the two. Oh, okay. So maybe we, uh, oh, that's a, that's a good maybe idea. we need to bring it up. Uh, that might be a good idea to, to add that, that um, agenda to the next meeting, which would be March, and just see it, explore if there's some other things uh, related to the foster community. You know, if it's senior yeah. related, then I can bring it back. I was only explaining No, I think the tie-in would be the senior, and then you can tie in the program, right? Okay, so well, Faye, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> March 13th, where is that meeting going to be? You know, I, I, we can, uh, let's talk later. Okay, okay. Then. perfect. Okay. So do we have any more questions on Catholic Charities? Um, it's not a question, okay. but um, you have a facility <coughs> on, what is it, Las Vegas Boulevard? Yes, that's our main campus. Main, main campus, campus, and there's a um, housing main there. Campus. Yes, so senior how, housing. Senior housing. That's so, Marion House. So how... Um, how do people get to live there? It's obviously low income. There is a waiting list again. Um, and if you call up the, the director of Miriam House, I can give you that information if you want some information on that as well. No, I was just, I was okay. just curious. How, it's, how, it's obviously part of Catholic Charities. Um, and there's a work-related program. Work program yes. where they yes. have they to go with, and they work yes. for... There's a transition time. They're not expected to move in and go to work tomorrow. Okay. But there's a transition time, and then uh, this kind of gets some stability in your life, and then the work program is attached to it. And we also have our own workers that will come and do yard work and, and um, 
moving and moving furniture that you can hire through Catholic Charities as well as part of our employment program. So, Madam Chair, maybe this is kind of interesting. I this only is. brought her on the senior program, yeah, but, but we could invite Maurice Page. Uh, absolutely. He runs the pro one of the programs, and and uh, if you maybe we could plan as to a presentation of what it. else yeah. we could do for sure. and and you can see how many other things are available through Catholic Charities okay. through their programs. I like that idea. Let's do that. Okay. I liked what she said about hiring people or getting people to come and do things for you. Mm -hmm. And I know of, of a number of instances where that would be pertinent to a senior having, Absolutely. you know, <clears throat> they, they could not okay. afford to have hire somebody to come in and do the work at Twenty-five, thirty dollars an hour, but they ten dollars an hour. They could do something like that and have somebody come in and do do periodic work for them. Absolutely. So we'll schedule it and okay. then talk about that program and possibly anything else that might be connected. That sounds great. I like that. Well, I'm glad we got you excited. Oh, <laughs> yes. Well, Catholic <laughs> charities. But there's always, and, and it doesn't have to be that you go and do it for a senior. No, see, no. they're they're for Absolutely. hire, yeah, and yeah. They're, yes. that's a work program for them, um, as, <laughs> as well as yes, yeah. that's a it whole it's work, all, it's all work therapy guys. program. Absolutely, Absolutely. Yes. and then we have the immigration yeah. uh, division the that's immigration. totally different, but, and the adoption, so it, it's pretty yeah. extensive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I only say that because. Uh, Personal note is I am getting two adopted grandsons. Oh, good for you. Very soon. It will be final in February. So. And where are they from? Bakersfield. Okay. The States. <laughs> the States, <laughs> yes. You had to go overseas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I said, everybody asked me, where are they from? Bakersfield. <laughs> That's good. And How they, old are they? Seven and eight and a half. Oh, wow. Neat. And they've been, my son and daughter and I have been fostering them for a year. Oh, fantastic. And wow, what a change. That's okay. What a change. A good change. Good change. So, but no more adoptions. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so shall we move on? And wanted to uh, report on the senior of the quarter. We have a senior of the quarter for January 23rd. It is a couple. We've already um, selected that previously. And um, they are Janet Robinson and Roger Dawson. And they, we had approved that. And I believe, is Ronnie going to be able to do the presentation? No. Oh, you'll do it, but Ronnie um, was invited today to be to be there. I mean, she could, you okay. could allow her to say something if I you will. want. Uh, Ronnie Fuller from the, from uh, Centennial. From the Centennial Hills uh, Adult, adult. Active Adult, adult Center. Okay. But, but I think what we also wanted to do is let them know about the other dates. I think that yes. was part of the backup. Yes, and, uh, and you should have all gotten that in your email link. link. <laughs> Uh, but just in case, um, the senior of the quarter dates at the City Council for recognition dates are January 23rd, April 17th, July 24th, and October 16th. And all of those would be at the 9 o'clock session. Yes, and we need submissions. We need people that could be recognized for their community work. So. We need nominees. Nominees. Thank you. Nominees. So um, put on your thinking caps or spread out the word. Um, anything that you can think about. And, you know, just can be in any area as long as that is now done volunteer work within the city. They could live outside of the city. We did that last week, last, last month, uh, last session. So that if they live in um, Henderson, 
and they do the bulk of their volunteering in this within the city of Las Vegas. They are potential nominees. And um, so I better make myself a note, right? Okay. So that's why we're bringing it to your attention so that we can get nominations. I, I know, uh, Fran, you, you nominated o, uh, Taka, mm -hmm. Ogata or something like mm -hmm. that. And so we had one for you. I don't know if you may have someone else. And Mickey, with your volunteer program with Metro, I know we recognize one of the gentlemen, but I don't know if there might be somebody else that you think might be worthy. So you guys come into contact. Um, Mary Ellen, I don't know if what you're doing, too, if you are, you know, come into contact with, with seniors who are amazingly taking care of others in the community. So we want to recognize it's kind of a fun thing. They love it. So. Yeah. It is a fun thing, and I think more and more people need that kind of recognition for the things that they do and give of them of the give service of themselves. So um, I'm looking forward to that. All right, so that is that item, and then I think I'm going to defer this next one to Maria, right? Yes, that's why I had to go upstairs yes, to get, to my get your notes. notes. Um, of the change. Um, the, um, right now, the city staff, they have a little committee and it's, it's undertaking a comprehensive review of all the ordinance. And what they're looking at is um, consistency. You know, uh, are, are they saying it, when you have the same information being discussed in all the ordinances, are they being, is it the same similar language being used across the board? Is, uh, are there any redundancies, um, any conflict in the way certain things are expressed that need to be clarified? And so even though we don't have any changes right now, one of the things that um, is being examined is the term of board members on, on you know, the senior advisory board, and it is the same thing as the planning committee. So the board here and the planning commission uh, board members, they are coterminous. And so each council member can have a term of 12 years, you know, if they keep getting reelected. The term on the board here is eight years. So they're looking at if, if the person wants to serve, the person, the board member can serve up to 12 years if, you know, your council person nominates you again or appoints you. So even though it hasn't been changed, we're looking at that possibility that changed sometime in 2013. It could be toward the end of the year when the council has examined it or has been presented, et cetera, to the council. So I wanted to just tell you about it. It just means that if you're at a eight year, you could be extended to 12. And then that way, both uh, your term and then the council, council people's term. To members. run together? Would be, mm -hmm. right. When With, I don't know, I, that term escapes me, but. Coterminous means that um, yeah, that's your, your council person gets elected, then you can serve on the board another term. But if they don't, um, you, you, you know, you don't get appointed unless someone else. So you're at the same uh, term. So if they're, they have to run for office, at that point, uh, if they win, they can then reappoint you. But your term is, uh, is um, would expire. Otherwise, if they're not a, but it, it just every time that they have to run for office, you're, you're coterminous. You could stay or you could leave depending on what happens to them. Well, any more questions on that? Okay. We only bring you exciting I topics. Know. I know. Well, that's I all right. See by your faces, you're ready I, to face I just, the, you know, the wintry, wintry you know, year. We right we are there. over the holidays, and I think we're ready for a fresh new year. And um, working with charities, Catholic charities, and um, maybe doing some other things that we can come up with, um, fresh new ideas, and. 
renew our self. So um, then that would bring me to uh, the citizens' participation. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the board. No subject may be acted upon by the board unless the subject is on the agenda and is scheduled for action. If you wish to be heard, give your name for the record, the amount of discussion on any single subject, as well as the amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. So do we have someone that would like to participate in the same citizens' participation? Not today, David? Okay. No, David. <laughs> All right. My voice is going. Okay. Oh. Well, we're so <laughs> glad to have you. But Mel, did you have something you wanted to bring up? I would like to be able to give you a little more information on what has happened to June 22. Certainly. Uh, the downtown project, which basically is Tony Shea, they've taken over the lease of June for the next five years. And they're going to move us <coughs> Somewheres in the vicinity of Bonneville and 6th or 7th Street, they bought a building there. They're going to move us in the building, and <clears throat> we have received another van from one of the HOAs for Fair Winds or Four Winds. Four Winds donated yeah. a van? A van. <laughs> uh, thank you. And, uh, That's one of, the, one of the people I sent to them. <clears throat> I happen to know their accountant. And <clears throat> they're going to try to, in the next year or two, develop some <coughs> funds for us to uh, give us more to work with. Okay, let me back up and ask a question. Who is going to try to do this? Downtown project. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> and supposedly we will be rent free for those five years. Well, great. And utility free. Including phone? Including phone. Okay. okay. And uh, that's the latest as, <clears throat> as of today. <clears throat> Well, to step forward. And I want to share with those of you that weren't at the Christmas party what a wonderful event it was. Um, they had enormous amount of volunteers. Oh, yeah. I couldn't believe. I didn't have to work. Arizona. <laughs> Arizona. 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 <laughs> they, they were awesome. They just worked and served, brought extra things for giveaways. Yeah. Um, everybody had a really, really good time. I, I'm sure that that's what they would all say. That's they what they really all say. Really good time. As they come back to get food. Yeah. They just raved about the party. It was a really, really nice event. Very well put together. Very well run. Okay, well, let's remember this is like a public comment. <laughs> so we can't. I did. I didn't. <laughs> oh. I was, I was thinking Were of you, you not having to work. No. The fact that you didn't have to work, that was yeah. the comment. Okay. <laughs> she, you know, she reprimands me. I know. I, I, I get reprimanded when we don't follow them. Yeah. Well, that was a good thing. Yes. It was a good thing. I could, I could visit with people and meet them and... And uh, I was bursting and into we, we, what, And we, we just passed out all of the raffle tickets and it was wonderful. It was very well done. So tell um, Leslie kudos and to the rest of the group too. Yes, I will tell her. They will, a lot of people will be surprised. She did a wonderful job. She did a really nice job. And she sang a solo. I think she, she brought tears to everybody. She, she did. It was really nice. Anything else on Jude? It all sounds good, wonderful. I'm glad. Well, it's a step forward. It is. It's a wonderful step forward. And I was very happy that the downtown project decided to come in and see who we are 
and why we're there. Wonderful. All right. Well, I think that probably concludes our I have meeting. A question. Oh, Sorry, that's nice. I'm waiting. Um, yeah. We have things that we haven't taken care of business-wise, like the RTC follow-up. Mm -hmm. How do we get that on the agenda for next um, the next meeting? I know we want, we want to do that, and I know I want to still talk to that one lady. And right. I have not made contact with her because of the holidays right. and so on. Would you like to do that with me? Sure. All right, let's, you and I afterwards, uh, we'll, we'll call her and we'll see if we can meet with her. Okay. And then we can get that on the before agenda. the next agenda. Okay. And How's then, that? That's great. That's okay. a good idea. Good. And then uh, we have the senior citizen Henderson folks coming. Yes, in March. In March. So any issues that we want to talk to them about that we have in the minutes here, we can bring up and talk to them about? Issues? Items, concerns, items, activities. I, yeah, okay. Whatever you want okay. to call them, business right. items. As long as it's one of those discussions. So yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. right, because like one of them was is uh, wanted to talk to the city of Henderson Senior Citizen Advisory Board about specific activities that they do with their seniors. Yeah, that and that's that, that kind of discussion. discussion. Yes. Oh, okay, good. So whatever we had before could be yeah. complicated? We had, it, we had it down there before, I think, this discussion, didn't okay. we? Yeah, yeah. And then they were they canceled. Cause right. They, yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, then that'll be good. Okay. okay. And that'll give us time to get a hold of this lady. Right, and I also noticed that Maria had asked us all to talk to our council people about uh, ideas and critical issues with regards to the seniors, and nobody reported on that, so when did you want that, Madam Chairman, taken care of? Yeah. Um, I have the same note that we were going to do, we were going to try to do that. And again, I think that because of the holidays, I don't think anybody's really had much chance to do that. So do you, we want to put that back on, um, the subject was, or at that time was talking to them about issues from each of the different council people, things like gas hikes, water rates, um, different issues that they were interested in for seniors. Right, so with the board supportive, so yes. Yeah, right. so we could put an, um, an item on the agenda for a report of those, of what we've done. Is that? I think it would, if I may, um, maybe you and I can discuss, and, and an email can be Yes. Sent to everyone. As a reminder direct, and direct so. Direct change, yeah. Okay, good. All right. That will work. And we should have a senior reporter so I have a nomination too. Yes, that would be on the agenda. There right. Need yeah. I I have made well, myself a note that I will put in a nominee. So, friends on the board. Yeah. So if somebody else has a nominee, that would be good. Be, well, always good to have a backup. So I know I have one that I will write up. Anything else? All right. So welcome back. Happy 2013. Tim, to you. It's going to be a great year. Promise. <laughs> Anyone you want to make a motion to adjourn? I will. Thank you, Mickey. I will so move. All right, so moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Hearing none, we are adjourned. It was being funny.